Today we all met here in front of our headquarter building at our hydrogen station with our beautiful two fuel cell electric trucks. So right now we're just cleaning up the trucks here. We're fueling them up. We then will drive and meet at the Biaggi Brothers Depot. We're gonna hook up two trailers to the trucks over there. And then from there, we're gonna drive uh, further to Ontario, California. From me personally, uh, this has been pretty stressful, but it's been really, really fun. And I owe it to all of you guys and, and everybody who's standing behind you. Uh, so thank you for that. We've got about uh, 352, give or take, uh, miles. To it's go. been, uh, you know, as they say, blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, that's no joke. It, it, was, it was exactly that. But I think the adrenaline, the excitement, for this moment has what was driving us. So uh, I think we're ready for it. I'm really confident. We drove these vehicles yesterday. We shook them down on the road. They work beautifully and um, I don't have any concerns. Other than that, again, I think we're gonna have a pretty smooth ride down there. That's, that's what I expect. And it's because of all the great work that all of you have put in. We are now for the first time hand delivering a vehicle of this magnitude to our customer. So this will jumpstart our next phase going into the secondary beta. And then from there, uh, we're gonna get into production. So we're on our way. What a great day this is. This will go down as a historic day. We're about to send these two vehicles on their maiden voyage with one fueling all the way to Los Angeles. No battery vehicle in the world can make that distance. That's why we build these trucks. They can do things that battery trucks could never do. And they are the first of many that will change the world. Let's get trucking. Let's do it. <laughs> So the reason we're picking up trailers close to Phoenix is in order to have a more representative drive down to LA. We want to look at uh, the fuel economy of these trucks with the trailer hooked up, look at the range and make sure that we're really well prepared for the deliveries in Ontario. We've driven about 200 miles and we're at our halfway point. We didn't have to stop for fuel, but we had to stop to fuel our humans. So uh, our teams are just getting fed and uh, a little bit of a rest and then we're pivoting and uh, we should be on our way to our final destination. Things have been running very smoothly and uh, I hate to jinx it, but I think, uh, I think we're all on our way. No problem so far, it's been amazing. Um, kind of a little bit of a cold morning in Phoenix and then as we drove out of Phoenix and we're now in this uh, nice uh, California afternoon with a more warmer uh, weather, we're doing great. The trucks are, are behaving as expected. So very, very happy. The best is just in front of us. We're about to get through the mountains and the trucks are, are eager to get through those mountains. have been built for probably about three or four months now. 
the last three or four months, we're going through all of the, the testing to make sure everything's ready. And now we're ready to do something that not a lot of hydrogen trucks have ever done, drive over 300 miles in one trip. As fun as it is, engineering and designing these things, this is, this is what they're born to do, haul freight. This is the beginning. So we're just seeing uh, our two fuel cell electric trucks pulling in here at the uh, Biaggi Brothers uh, Depot. Uh, we just completed our drive from Phoenix, Arizona to Ontario, California, about 360 miles of driving. And um, we're just really happy right now because the trucks just perform beautifully. This was one of the most amazing days in my professional career, if not the most amazing day. I am ecstatic. This is, this is ridiculous that, that we've done this. A couple months ago, we had our first drive with the vehicle. It's huge. The way that these trucks ran the whole way without having any issues at all really was just pretty amazing. And it was just fun to go like on a ride with these guys and just enjoy the trucks out on the road. After we deliver these trucks here now to uh, Biagi, we will start our pilot activity with them. That means we will run um, essentially a real-world use case uh, together with them and Anheuser-Busch. And we will be hauling uh, different loads between the uh, breweries and distributor locations. So guys, this is a pretty big deal and I think we accomplished it. Let's just take a second to just recognize what we've done here. Let's huddle in. One, two, three, three. three. We're in Ontario, Southern California, at one of the Biagi Brothers depots. Biagi is a great partner of ours that helps us evaluate these trucks in a very early stage. So we delivered the trucks here. We drove them down from Phoenix, Arizona, um, and then pretty much the next day, we started the pilot activity and are putting these trucks to a test every day now. So working with a company like Biagi as well as Anheuser-Busch gives us that opportunity to do amazing things um, and I think we're doing it right here. We've been out here for about three weeks now and um, have ultimately demonstrated success in those three weeks and we have you know a few more months to do that. How you like the truck so far? Our drivers love it. Yeah? We have a driver that's one of our best drivers and she just thinks it's the best thing she's ever driven. <laughs> I was like waiting for that moment when the trucks arrived. First thing I did, went to the back and took a picture of it and just like, oh my God, it's nice, you know, it's, I want to see it from inside, you know? <laughs> I'm lucky enough to work for a family-owned company that the owners are very forward-thinking and they're always looking for the, the next best thing out there. Not only are we, we equipping the truck with the operational numbers and everything that's necessary to put it in service, we're also having a customer proudly put their logo on, on the side of the truck. And uh, you know, that's what it's all about. It's uh, as much pride as we have in this to, to see a customer have some pride in it too. I mean, that's a special moment for us. We all have the target to, to do something special here in California, to convert the entire fleet of trucks dealing with the brewery and supporting the brewery to zero emissions. And that has been our task over the last year and will be our task leading into 2023 and 2024. This is pioneering. We're not following someone's footsteps. We are creating this world. We're creating this market. Um, and that makes it, you know, hard at times. But the team has over and over again, they solved every issue, they overcame every obstacle to ultimately deliver upon our promised dates and a truck that's just uh, running really, really well. So we're at uh, Hydrogen Fueling Station, so we just pulled up to the dispenser and uh, we're about to connect the nozzle to our fueling receptacle. Uh, so right now we'll see a fueling that uses light-duty vehicle hardware, and the hardware that we're working on with our, uh, with our industry group will, will get us to 700 bar. And that's what we're targeting. We're targeting diesel parity when it comes to fueling times. So we'd like to fuel about 100 kilograms of fuel in about 10 to 15 minutes. 
Oh, this is awesome. This is my first time seeing one of these hydrogen stations. And uh, I overheard someone say, this is gonna be the new normal. I, I'm a 100% believer in that. We are a few weeks into our pilot with the fuel cell trucks with Anheuser-Busch. What we are going to do is make a haul of beer zero emission from the brewery to the distributor and then an electric truck from one of other AB partners will take that to the final destination. And together we will show that it is possible to do the entire supply chain zero emission. This isn't science fiction. This is environmental fact now, right? Like we have the technology to do this. And it's exciting, it gives me goosebumps. from Arizona, we don't have this kind of truck traffic. And it's like, I'm not even stressing at all while driving in this California traffic. It is so effortless. Going up the hill, you know, it's like we're not downshifting, we're not looking for gears, we're not waiting for the RPM range. I mean, we just step on it, it goes. I can't tell you how grateful I am that we were able to partner with AB truly a globally visionary company because they, they made a corporate commitment with dates, with specifics a long time ago and said, we're, we're gonna lead the world to zero emissions. And they've done that. Their commitment is what allowed Nikola to get underway. So I was so grateful to be teamed up with them and partnered with them. This is monumental for us as happy as we are that we crossed this finish line, delivered on these milestones, we're even more excited about the next ones we have in front of us.